Hi, everyone. My name is Emily Fulmer. I'm uh, in my second semester of a master's program in political science. I'm kind of a non-traditional student. I graduated from undergrad in 2004 in music and religious studies, and I went for a master's in theology at Vanderbilt. Started working in nonprofit world, got married, raised kids, and I've always been very involved in politics, state and local politics, and I decided I was going back for a master's in political science. Though I had never had a class in political science and I couldn't have told you what political science was. I'm not sure I really can tell you what political science is. Um, <laughs> basically, it's a social science and we look at government and institutions and political behavior and sometimes it's easier to describe it by telling you what we do. So these are some of the subfields in political science and basically, just some examples, in American politics you might do a quantitative study um, on whether expanding Medicaid in a state makes people in that state more supportive of Obamacare. Or you might look at what motivates people to take positions on certain issues, sort of like a political psychology approach. Um, if you're in international relations, like one of our um, faculty in international relations, he's an expert in economic sanctions, and he looks at whether they actually work in deterring human rights abuses by oppressive regimes. Comparative researchers do cross-national comparisons to think about theories of why do some countries have higher um, democracy scores than others in developing um, na nations. And political theory is really the outlier of these, this whole thing. This is why people can't define political science, because political theory is like philosophy. We talk about the big questions, we talk about power and systems of power, we talk about questions of like what is liberty and, and what are great ways of people living together on earth. It's really like philosophy but about politics and power. Um, so that's some of the stuff that we do. Those are some of the subfields. But even within those subfields, it's very broad and open, right? So I love it because it's broad and open and the doors are wide open. We can have quantitative researchers who like to crunch numbers and dig into massive data sets. We also have qualitative researchers who like to conduct interviews and do field research, kind of like anthropologists who st also study politics. Uh, and a degree in political science gives you a lot of options. So if you're an undergrad here, you can do the accelerated BA MA program. In five years, you come out with a master's. We have an MA JD program. A lot of people who actually want to go into politics do that. And there are tons of different um, careers, government, law, research, academia, international affairs, nonprofits, all of those. And the interesting thing I think about this program, or a good thing about this program, is that you learn how to do statistical research. And so that's a great thing to have on your resume. You can kind of go anywhere with that. And coming back to school and not having had math in like 25 years, I was like super scared about that. But it's actually been really great. And I'm, I, I enjoy statistics, which I never thought in a million years that I ever would. Uh, and I love this, uh, this field because you get to ask and study big questions and just kind of follow the questions that are interesting to you. So I'm interested in religion and politics and asking questions like why um, white evangelical Christians are so solidly linked with the Republican Party while non-white evangelicals are not overwhelmingly Republican. So I get to study race and religion and politics, all the things you're not supposed to talk about at the dinner table, that's what I get to study. And I get to conduct experiments as well um, to see if framing of religious messages affect how people feel about policies related to uh, social welfare for the poor. Uh, and this is just the stuff that interests me. And even though it's totally different from what everybody else in my program is doing, it all fits under this very big umbrella of political science and it's all welcome there. And I love my department, too, because it, everyone there is so fantastic and supportive. It's a very small department, so you get a lot of personal attention. And just a, as an example, um, one of my professors encouraged me to submit a, a paper proposal to an academic conference, and it was accepted. And I was like horrified that I had to go speak in front of this huge group of political scientists, and I'm just like a baby political scientist, right? Mm -hmm. um, but the department offered to financial contributions to help me get to the conference. They gave me the opportunity to practice my speech in front of all of them, which was very nerve-wracking, but it was a great opportunity. And everyone's just very supportive. And so if you're interested in political science, I want to be supportive of you as well. And this is my contact information in our department website and our grad recruitment coordinator's email address. Thank you.